targeting with mobile phone data. In uh, the first step, we obtained public microestimates of the relative wealth of every 2.4 kilometers by 2.4 kilometers region in Togo, which were constructed by applying machine learning algorithms to high resolution satellite imagery. These estimates provide an indication of the relative wealth of all the households in each small grid cell. We take the population weighted average of these grid cells to estimate the average wealth of every uh, canton, Togo's smallest administrative unit. See methods, poverty maps. In the second step, we estimated the average daily consumption of each mobile phone subscriber by applying machine learning algorithms to mobile phone metadata provided by Togo's two mobile phone operators, see methods, data privacy concerns. Specifically, we conducted surveys with a large and representative sample of mobile phone subscribers, used the surveys to measure the wealth and or consumption of each subscriber, and then matched the survey-based estimates to detailed metadata on each subscriber's history of phone use. This sample was used to train supervised machine learning algorithms that predict wealth and consumption from phone use. Pearson's P ranges from 0 0.41 to 0 0.46 methods predicting poverty from phone data. The second step is similar in spirit to a traditional proxy means test PMT. Again, PMT is proxy means test with two main differences. We used a high dimensional vector of mobile phone features instead of a low dimensional vector of assets to estimate wealth. And we used machine learning algorithms designed to maximize out of sample predictive power instead of the traditional linear regression that maximizes in sample goodness of fit. Evaluation of targeting accuracy. Our main analysis evaluates the performance of this new targeting approach that combines machine learning and mobile phone data, which we refer to more succinctly as the phone-based approach by comparing targeting efforts using this approach to targeting errors under three counterfactual approaches. A geographic targeting approach that the government piloted in summer 2000 in which all individuals are eligible within the poorest prefectures, Togo Admin 2 level, or poorest cantons, Togo's Admin 3 level, occupation-based targeting including Novice's original approach to targeting informal workers, as well as an optional approach to targeting the poorest occupation categories in the country, and a parsimonious, parsimonious method based on phone data without machine learning that uses total expenditures on calling and texting as a proxy for wealth.